Hello and good morning. Welcome to the Social Today Show. My name is Jonathan Pollinger of Internet Future and Social Today Show, all about social media. Uh, welcome, uh, Matt. Uh, very quick off the uh, off the mark uh, this morning. Uh, welcome, uh, Sue. Uh, we are on a roll here uh, down in uh, here in Cardiff because it is sunny. Once again, people say that it rains in uh, Cardiff all the time. Uh, good morning, uh, Ailted UK. Great to have you on the uh, show. Good morning, uh, Gerald. Uh, but uh, sun, yes, sunshine uh, once again. Very, very cold, but um, at least it is uh, sunny with us today. So uh, today, uh, being a Tuesday, it's time for a social media uh, tip. <coughs> Excuse the voice, have a bit of a, a, bit of a cold. Uh, and... Um, this follows the news that uh, I gave uh, yesterday, sunny in Swansea, although uh, frosty. Great to have all these uh, weather reports uh, coming in from across the uh, across the UK. Anybody not from the uh, UK on the um, on the social uh, Today Show today? Uh, do uh, do let me know. Okay, uh, Canada, fantastic. Uh, welcome from uh, from Canada. Uh, okay, so um, going to look at how you can learn from your competitors' uh, island, Alexandra. Brilliant. Uh, going to learn from um, Saskatchewan. Cool. Uh, going to learn uh, how you can learn from your competitors' pages on uh, on Facebook. So. If you go into Facebook Insights, so you can basically access your insights on Facebook through the uh, admin panel. So you just need to log in as uh, an admin on Facebook and you'll see a number of uh, options across the top of your page. One of them is uh, Insights. It's actually to the, to the right of Notifications and to the left of Publishing Tools. Click on that and you get a, a summary of your insights. Scroll to the bottom and at the bottom of the page you'll see a very interesting uh, feature that you might not have noticed called Pages to Watch. So it's sort of like uh, tucked away at the, um, at the bottom there. And the idea is that you can search and add for other pages that you can literally watch, that you can uh, keep an eye on. So I think the first thing to do is try and find some competitor pages. So you might know some pages of competitors immediately that you can uh, search for and uh, add um, in there. Um, you might want to do a bit of a search on, uh, on Facebook to perhaps uh, find your uh, competitors. Uh, I look well. I don't. I haven't been to uh, to Canada, so I don't think you see me in uh, in Canada. But uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, uh, you might have um, you might have seen one of my past shows, or I don't know, or somebody who looks like me. Who knows? Um, but uh, thanks for the uh, comments. Good to have a, a chat in the uh, in the mornings here um, on the uh, on the social uh, today. Ah, oh, Bristol originally. Well, you never know. You might have uh, run into me uh, because uh, just moved to. <clears throat> Excuse me, to Cardiff from uh, from Cheltenham. Uh, welcome, Grant. Good to have you uh, regularly on the uh, on the show today. So we're uh, these days. So we're talking about uh, Facebook page insights and specifically the pages to watch feature. So um, here's um, another tip for you, sort of a tip uh, within a tip. You can find out your competitors from uh, Google by uh, using one uh, one word, and that is uh, related. So if you type in the word related and then put a colon and then put www your website you'll have information on well results for uh, your competitors websites of your competitors come up in your google search so just go through that again uh, type in the word related type in a full colon then no http just www dot your website followed by the dot co dot uk dot com dot net uh, whatever it is and you should get some results up relating to your competitors. So, sort of handy way of finding competitors' uh, websites. No spaces in that uh, related uh, colon www followed by the website. By the way, so once you've got uh, some competitors, you can start to add them to your pages to watch feature uh, within Insights on Facebook. And then when you get some results up, you basically get the number of likes on the page, whether the likes have increased or not. Uh, number of posts 
I think you get an uh, increase or decrease in number of posts and then you get a measure of their engagement which is probably the most uh, significant thing. So you can basically sort of see how engaging your competitors pages are there on this pages to watch feature. Uh, so you can correlate that with how many times they're posting. So if they've got a lot of engagement going on and they're not posting very often, then that obviously means that the quality of their posts is pretty high. So worth then checking out their page, looking at it in more detail and seeing if you can learn any lessons. Also, perhaps good to know if your competitors aren't very hot on their Facebook page, if their results there under pages to watch aren't, uh, aren't very encouraging. And a final thought, don't necessarily stop at competitors. If you have got some pages, you can find some pages that have a similar market to you. So they basically are providing services or products to the same type of customer, then perhaps add those pages too, because you might be able to learn some good lessons there in terms of what type of posts engage uh, your uh, similar type of customers. So lots of lessons, I think, to be learned from this handy Pages to, to Watch feature. Just a couple of other bits and pieces. Uh, originally, when they um, brought it out a couple of years ago, uh, Facebook were a bit silly. It was quite controversial because people were actually uh, told um, <laughs> when you'd added them to your Pages to, to Watch feature. So you were kind of like... Uh, uh, outed as a as a spy, shall we uh, shall we say? But uh, that doesn't happen now, so um, there's no fear of uh, adding other people's pages to the uh, pages to watch feature. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, you might uh, you know you might think it's a little bit uh, creepy, but at the end of the day, you know the information out there is uh, public information. It's just Facebook uh, presenting it all in um, all in one place because as we know, pages are, are public, so I don't don't have any um, any problem. With, uh, with that at all. And uh, finally, I haven't actually, don't know if um, Grant or any other social media bods can help me with this. I don't know how many pages you can actually add, what the total is. I got up to uh, adding uh, 12 uh, pages this morning and um, didn't didn't actually hit, uh, hit a limit. Uh, you're my first best. Oh, so you've added my page. Well, I have to say, folks, if you are adding my internet future page, uh, morning, uh, Richard. Um, I'm not. I'm not huge on Facebook, to be honest. Yeah, on the personal side, perhaps, and I use sort of the personal side, my my profile, uh, sort of um, both sort of personally and uh, professionally, really, more than uh, more than my page. But you might find one or two snippets on there. But I don't. To be honest, I don't spend a lot of time uh, cultivating uh, my uh, my Facebook page. Twitter really is the place for me. So if you want to find out lots of uh, good news stories and tips, then do follow at Internet Future on uh, on Twitter. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what the limit is on number of pages you can add, just coming back to that point, but it's at least uh, 12 pages, so that should be more than enough for you to, to crack on with. I think it used to be limited to three and then extended to, to five, and that seems to have um, grown, uh, grown again. Uh, so, I uh, hope you uh, enjoy playing around with the Pages to Watch feature on, uh, on Insights, just to, to recap for, for those that are just joining. If you log in as admin, go to the top of your page and select Insights, a whole bunch of really useful information there, and just highlighting the fact that you can keep an eye on competitors' pages. On the very first page that you go into, the summary page on Insights, you can look at pages to, to watch at the uh, bottom of the page there. So uh, do let me know how you, uh, how you get on with, uh, with that. Have a fantastic day. And uh, tomorrow, oh dear, it could be difficult to, tomorrow, I'm going to be on the road tomorrow up to uh, West Midlands Safari Park, uh, where I'm doing a uh, social media workshop for, for them. Uh, so, mm, they're going to be probably too early as well, because very early start tomorrow, so I might have to um, uh, skip tomorrow's uh, show, but I will see if I can do something from the uh, Safari Park, because that, that should be fun whilst, uh, whilst I'm there. Uh, welcome, I, Andrew uh, Phillips, or Andrew, no doubt uh, you are called. Uh, just coming to the end of the show now, but I hope you catch the replay. I was talking about uh, the Facebook Pages to Watch feature and uh, Insights uh, this morning. So, uh, yeah, don't tune in at 8.45 tomorrow, but I'll try and get something um, to you during the uh, day. Uh, but definitely back on Thursday with a handy and useful social media tool uh, for you. Uh, so whatever you're doing today, have a good one. If you enjoyed this broadcast, please do uh, share it, retweet on uh, Twitter, share on uh, Periscope, 
uh, etc. That would be much uh, much appreciated. And uh, tune in again 8:45 on uh, on Thursday, and hopefully uh, catch me during the day tomorrow as well. Have a have a fantastic day, everybody, and uh, catch up with you again soon.